Hey friends, so one of our favorite things to do at camp is to play volleyball. And I wanna show you how you can get that same experience even if you don't have all the correct equipment at home. So when you think of volleyball, the thing you most need is in the title. It's a volleyball. But I don't even own a volleyball. This is one I borrowed from a friend. So something else you could use to play volleyball is something like a beach ball, which I know a lot of people do have. So something else you would need for volleyball is a net. Now, I don't have just a volleyball net set up in my backyard all the time, but I know my family does own a badminton set that comes with a small net. So that's something you could use if you have a set like that at home. But also, at my house, we have a clothesline. Now, I know it's hard to see, but I'll point it out. So we have this clothesline, and right now we're not using it to hang any clothes on, but I think that this could be something that we could use for a net instead. So this is the height at which my clothesline sits just by itself. But we also have this stick that helps make it go higher if you want it to. So I'm thinking that if you have older kids at, ha at your house, then you can put it up higher, make it a little harder to play, but if you have some younger kids, then you can let it go and have it hang down low. Now I know this only really works if you have a clothesline like mine, but I think you could get creative with it. So when you play, you have a high net, but you just gotta watch out for the pole holding it up. <laughs> so what if you don't have a clothesline like mine? you could get some sort of rope and find two places to tie it up to. Kind of like you would a hammock maybe between two trees or just anything you could really tie the rope to. But I also have another idea of what to do if you don't have a clothesline or a net at home. So something else that you could do that I think would work really well with younger kids or just if you don't have a net to play with is using a jump rope as your net. So what you can do is lie the jump rope on the ground just in a straight line and use that as your net. If you have younger kids at home, then that can work if the nets would normally be too high for them to play and get over the line. If you have older kids and this just seems a little too easy to get over, then maybe you could add another challenge in of you have to stand so far away from the rope, from the jump rope, so that way it's harder to get it over the line. It's more of distance rather than height. The jump rope is another thing that maybe if you have two like surfaces apart from each other then you can pick it up, set it on top, hold it on with something and use that as like the net like I did a clothesline. So another idea I had was that if you or a friend have a fence around their yard like my friend Caitlin then you can use that as your net instead. So I just decided to look around and see what else in my house I could use in place of a net for volleyball and then I realized I have all of these lawn chairs or these patio chairs. I could take those, put them in the yard, line them up in a circle and use that as a net too. You just need some sort of barrier to get the ball over. This is also a fun activity because you don't need a whole volleyball team, but you can play with your family, your friends if they come over. Um, but at most you just need two people to play uh, one on each side. And if all else fails, you got a pretty cool jump rope you could jump rope with now.